to show you how to make a snowflake apple if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button letting you know your girl Ro is on for the show and hit that notification bell to remind you that I am on and we're going to get right into the video the supplies I'm going to be using in this video I am going to be using CMC powder which is like Tylos from CK products poppy paint this is a shine, a super shine. It's 100% edible. I have my Americolor. I'm going to be using an airbrush coloring for this particular apple. And this is color Blue Sheen. My Loran Oil Flavoring, pineapple flavor. And I have four different plunger cutouts that I'm going to use for the snowflakes. These are two. These are two. I'm going to be also using Renshaw Fondant in the color blue and white. My apple stick, my paper straw, my candy thermometer, a Wilton's brush, my silicone spoon. You want to make sure you have a silicone mat that is heat resistant. I have my Granny Smith apple, which is already clean. If you want to learn the cleaning process of my apples check out my video on my channel my measuring cup and also I will be using some jewel dust um, which is food grade okay so in this video I'm going to use my full candy recipe in this medium pot I have four cups of sugar one cup of water now let's add one cup of light corn syrup Taking your silicone spoon and mixing and combining all your ingredients together. That's four cups of sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, and one cup of water. Taking your candy thermometer and clipping it on the side of your pot, making sure that the tip of your thermometer does not touch the bottom of your pot. Once you have clipped your thermometer on the side of the pot, you then want to cook your candy mixture until it reaches 300 degrees. Cooking your candy mixture on medium high heat, if digital, between five or six. So while our candy mixture is cooking, let's get started with making our snowflakes. When using these particular plungers, they can be a little bit difficult. So what I like to do is powder my surface heavenly using cornstarch or powdered sugar and what I'm going to do is just powder up my surface I'm going to take my fondant and I'm just going to knead my fondant just work it out and I want my pieces to be stiff enough so that they'll be able to cut out properly so I'm going to apply some CMC powder just to the center And just a small amount okay you want to make sure that you work in all of that powder until it's completely combined into your fondant so taking your rolling pin making sure your rolling pin is powdered with starch or powdered sugar Flatten your fondant, start in the center and roll back and forth 
so that your fondant can spread out to cut out your snowflakes. Taking some of the powder sugar and just powder over your fondant. Make sure you roll out your fondant, not too thin and not too thick. Taking your snowflake and press firmly onto the surface. And if there's a design in these plungers, just press while you have it on your fondant. Come back up, give it a little shake again. And there you have your fondant inside your plunger. Take your plunger and just apply it to your surface where there's powder, sugar, or starch. And just rub it back and forth. And then you're ready to pop out your snowflake. Now taking your snowflake and a kabuki brush to remove all the extra powder, just simply dab it and you'll remove that powder right from the snowflake. you have all your snowflakes cut out you can cut out as many as you like or as many as you want to apply on your candy apple now it's the time to shine up our snowflakes and add a little bling to it so taking your small sheet of parchment paper or wax paper you're going to use your poppy paint and you're going to use your edible jewel dust I'm just going to add a small amount to my parchment paper taking my Wilton's brush and just dab it right across your snowflake so while it's wet now keep in mind you do not have to use the shine to apply the dust but it does work you can apply the shine with using water applying water to your snowflake just dabbing a little bit of water over your snowflake and then applying your jewel dust Making sure your snowflake is completely covered. Shaking it back and forth a little bit. Take this little scraper that you can get off of Amazon. Remove it from its position. Place it in another position. Give it a little shake there. Taking your extra jaw dust and just place it back into its container and the color of this jewel dust is white and in this container is four grams of jewel dust it's a full grade and you can get this off of confectionaryarts.com so here is our pieces after they are covered with our beautiful jewel dust Taking our already clean candy apple and using our apple stick, this is a 5.5 by 5.0 apple stick, insert it, upright position, press firmly into the apple, making sure it do not pierce to the bottom. Taking our paper straw, placing it over the stick, firmly pressing down into the apple giving it a shake to make sure it is on there and not going to fall into our candy mixture. So at 200 degrees is when you want to add in your flavoring. It's really optional, but it's a guide for you 
to know when to add in your oil flavoring. This full dram, which is the whole bottle, will go into a full candy mixture. So now that our mixture has reached 300 degrees, remove your thermometer, placing it in a cup of water so that the extra mixture on the tip can be removed. Taking your one tablespoon and your airbrush coloring, make sure you shake your coloring very well by this being an airbrush color. Add in your one tablespoon of airbrush coloring to your mixture. making sure that your apple is completely clean and completely dry. Tilting your pot, going in at an angle and doing a complete 360 rotating turn. Make sure that your candy mixture has completely weakened of the drizzle at the bottom. Scrape the side of your pot. Place it on your silicone mat. Now let's apply our pieces to our apple. In a small cup, you want to get a small amount of chocolate and a toothpick. Placing the amount of chocolate on the back of the snowflake, placing the snowflake on your apple wherever you like. Once you have your pieces all together, let them sit so they can dry completely before even moving your apple. Well, there you have it, sweet gang, your snowflake candy apple. If you have enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.